in the chalice. Chalice is a special vessel to make wine and water required for the celebration of the holy mysteries. The mixture of wine and water in the chalice transforms into the blood of our Lord. The water that we mix with the wine in this context is the symbol of the Holy Spirit. Thank you. The object seen here is a pattern. Pattern is a circular plate or a vessel of metal with a bread for the celebration of the holy mysteries is kept. The bread in the pattern becomes the real body of Jesus during the holy mass. Thank you. The object seen here is a census. Census or a crucible is a vessel used to uh, burn incense during the divine liturgy. Incensing during the divine liturgy is the sign of in forgiveness of sins, total surrender to God, perfect veneration, and of praise and thanksgiving that rise up continuously to God. Thank you. The object seen here is Sosapa. Sosapa is a square shaped vestment with a cross in the middle of it made of the same stuff as that of Kappa. It is big enough to cover the chalice and the patent together. It is used in the liturgy as the tombstone of our Lord Jesus and as the kerchief which was kept on his head when he was buried. John chapter 20 verse 7. Thank you. The objects seen here are cruets. Cruets are glass containers which are used to carry both wine and water. Thank you. The object seen in this image is sinking or purificator. The white cloth folded into three parts, which is used for cleaning the chalice and pattern. Thank you. The object seen here is ketana or corpora. The big white cloth used for placing the chalice and pattern on the altar. It is a symbol of the white linen cloth on which the body of Christ was kept in the tomb. Thank you. The object seen here is kabbalana, also known as pal. It is a stiff board placed on the chalice. Thank you. The object seen here is custody, also known as ciborium. It is the container of host during the mass. Also, this is the same container where the body of Christ will be preserved. After serving the communion, when it is filled with body of Christ, it has to be kept in tabernacle only. Thank you. The object seen here is Cortina. Cortina is long tunic type garment reaching from the neck to the ankles of any color. Cortina is the syracter used for the outer garment of Jesus. The person who wears Cortina puts on Jesus and performs his priestly ministry in his place. Thank you. The object seen here is Zunara. Zunara is the Syriac word for the belt-like strip of cloth worn over the Cortina at the waist. It is the symbol of chastity. Holy Kurbana and other rites of divine worship are acts which are to be performed with perfect holiness. Thank you. The object seen here is Urara. Urara is a special vestment worn by priests in the neck in such a way that its both end extends the knees in front. The sacred vestment is the symbol of ministerial priesthood in an liturgical traditions. Thank you. The object seen here is Zandi. Zandi is the Syrac word for gloves of handcuffs. They are worn to keep the handcuffs of the cortina in order. Thank you. The object seen here is Paina or Kappa. Paina is the outermost liturgical vestment that priests put on. It proclaims the fact that the priest is the fount 
or source of all kinds of virtues. Historically, Paina appears to be the outer garment of shepherds. Thus, it proclaims the pastoral duty of a priest as well. Thank you.